Hello guys, it's me Simu Orohara and in this video we'll talk about Aikawa Love as well as what his Bankai might be. At first many are wondering why Love didn't come back to the Gotei 13. Because as we know Hirako, Rose and Kinsey have all returned to their positions as a captains while Love remains the only character from the visor as a previous captain in the real world and hasn't returned. The answer may seem funny but it's the truth. In short, the reason why Love has not returned as a captain is out of personal desire. I mean, it's not as if Central Room 46 prevented him from returning or something like that. But it's just that Love doesn't want to go back to a world where there is no jump magazine. And this is how it was described in the novel The Death Saved the Strawberry. And the events of this novel it takes place around the time when Ichigo was without his power. A love frankly expressed in many scenes that he is a real fan of Jump Magazine. Even at the beginning of the final arc Lisa talked about him going to buy the Jump Magazine. For all this it seems that love has liked his human life in the real world especially with the presence of the Jump Magazine. And so going back to Love as a character, I find him frankly one of the most mature characters in Visard as well as the most powerful characters, especially from a physical strength. Unfortunately, Kobo neglected him greatly in the final arc, and in the chapter of the Pendulum arc, Love showed great knowledge of the goings on in the Gute 13, as he was the one who talked about the 10th Kenpachi and described his condition, as well as the one who ensured the monitoring of Yori and other things that showed how much love character had matured from the other visor characters. And therefore when we talk about love strength we must talk first of all about his great physical strength. I mean even before love had the power of hollows he had a great physical strength. In this scene Kinsey attacked him with a boost of holification power and yet it didn't get anything from him. But after he was exposed to holo poisoning and became a visor this increased his physical strength and what we shouldn't overlook is that Love was the last person who fought Ichigo in a near complete holification state for more than 10 minutes so that all the previous visors like Lisa and Kensei were fighting Ichigo while he was still in the early stages of the holification and yet Love was able to match Ichigo in that form although he was about to use his mask to block Ichigo's zero. And speaking of the mask as I said a while ago it gives him a high physical ability. I mean we noticed that in his first appearance in front of the captions with his bare hands he broke the mask of a menace. And here we come to talk about the Zampacto of Love which he released in his fight against Stark. In fact, I like the way Love fought against Stark. We cannot compare between Stark and Love. The difference in strength is clear, although it must be taken into account that Love didn't fight with his full strength either. He didn't use his Bankai. But Love, unlike Rose, showed great effectiveness in his fight against Stark and clashed against him in several scenes. And in that fight, he woke up his Zanpakuto Tengomaru. And here I will give you several interesting information about the backgrounds of this Zanpakuto. First of all, the official translation of Tengemaro is long-nosed goblin and Love wake up his Zanpakuto with the word slam so that the katana turns into this weapon called Kanabu. What we must keep in mind is that the name of Love Zanpakuto is similar to one of the famous Tengo and exactly the Dai Tengo because there are two types of Tengo, a type uh, in the form of crow called Ko Tengo and another type is Dai Tengo. Tingo, and so much so that his name is also similar to the name of Love's Zanpakuto as you can see in this picture. Also the Kanabu weapon in Japanese mythology it is known to be a weapon for the Oni and exactly a weapon for goblins. I even found some pictures that show goblins with the Kanabu weapon. Thus I find that Kobo makes the Zanpakuto of Love between the Red Tingo, Dai Tingo and the weapon of goblin the Kanabu and this gave us Tengemaro with this shape. 
It is also known that the Tengo is a demon lives in the high mountains and it is said that some fire's incidents are attributed to him, especially that one of his powers is that he has high physical ability as well as the ability to control the wind. And it is known that whenever the wind it is strong and weather is hot, this makes any fire, no matter how small it is, amenable to becoming a firestorm. Anyway, let's put this information aside for a moment because I'll be based on them to talk about the Bankai. And let's talk about the Shikai. What can be said about Love's Shikai is that it is evidence of his great physical strength. Tengemaru is very huge in size and few are the characters in the story that owns a Shikai of that size, except Zaraki with Nozarashi and we can add also Ichigo's Shikai Zangitsu. But Tengemaru remains the largest. However, we saw how Love controls it in a very flexible manner. Also, and this is the good thing about Tengemaru is that Love can make it blow in fire like the attack he made against Tark. The flames were incredibly huge and so this is the advantage of Tengemaru. It can be used by Love as a normal weapon but at any moment he can use fire from it. And back to our topic of the Bankai and what it might be, I came up with uh, with an idea in which I relied on Dai Tengo. As we said, Love's Zanpakuto name is similar to the Red Tengo. Even Love's mask with holofication is very similar to the masks of Tengo or Goblin in general. And therefore I say that as long as uh, Tengo is known for his physical strength and ability to control the wind. Also the red Tengo is known to have a fan in his hand and by it he controls the wind. I say that Love in Bankai turns his Kanabu weapon into a huge fan that makes him control the winds as he wants and by controlling the wind he can turn it through the red fan into stormy fire that hits the enemy with great destructive power. And maybe because of its destructive power Love did not use the Bankai because the Bankai causes huge firestorms and that may harm his allies and so he didn't use the Bankai uh, either in the Arankara arc or the final arc or simply because Kobo didn't think of Love's Bankai. But in my theory I think that the Kanabu weapon turns into another weapon with another power that supports the fire. In my theory I have chosen the, the wind because the red Tengo is known to control the wind and with the winds the fan will produce more fire that will make the fire power of Bankai even more powerful. And also due to the fact that Love wears the mask, the mask may turn red in the Bankai phase and it may be Bankai with his original strength like the ones I mentioned plus new holo powers. And so guys, this is my theory. A Bankai with red mask plus a fan that able to control wind and produce fire. I don't know if Kobo has a plan for love in the upcoming season of the anime where he will use his Bankai or not. The only scene we have for love in the final arc is this scene where he attacked Gerard. Anyway, I want also to share with you this amazing drawing of Kobo for love. This is love after the time skip of 12 years. Man, he looks so stylish. I found his picture the best for me. So guys, tell me what do you think of Love's Bankai? Do you have other theories? And what do you think of my theory? And see you in my next video.